This Instagram account has grown to over 150,000 followers and gets millions of views on their reels without ever showing a face on camera. Here's another account that has over 2 million followers and rakes in millions of views every month by creating faceless Instagram Reels. And if like them, you are also looking to leverage the power of Reels to grow your Instagram account without having to film any footage or come in front of the camera, the great news is that you can do that in minutes using the power of AI. And in this video, we are showing you how to do exactly this in just 5 easy steps with the help of ChatGPT and in video. Let's get started. The first step is to pick an idea for your video. Now there are several ways and tools that you can use to do this, but one of the easiest ways to get started is to go to popular accounts in your niche and look at their top performing reels to see which ideas have gotten them the most views. Such videos are usually a good marker of what is in trend and what resonates with your audience. And so you want to pick similar topics. That's what we are also doing for this tutorial. We are creating an Instagram reel for a self-care Instagram account. And so we we'll look at different accounts that post in this niche to see what topics resonate with their audiences. From my research, I can see that content around habit building is big in the self-care community. So I believe a reel around habits that can help you uplevel your life can do really well for our account. And that's what we are going ahead with. Now, once you finalize your idea, the next step is to turn it into a script. And that is something that you can easily do with ChatGPT. Start by signing up or signing into your ChatGPT account. And once you're logged in, you are going to use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to give the AI prompt for the kind of script you want. Generally speaking, whenever you're writing a prompt, there are a few key details you want to include. These are the type of video that you're creating, such as Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, etc. The topic you wanted to cover, the length of the video, the tone of voice you are going for, and any specific details you want to add, as well as any inputs on scripting style. Now for this video, we just want a simple five point listicle of habits as the script. So here's how we are going to write the prompt. Now you can see we haven't given a duration here since all we want is just a five point listicle and the duration becomes irrelevant. Now, once you click enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. And once you have your first draft, you can read through to see if you want any changes and give it additional prompts if you do. I feel like the extra explanation for each habit does not make any sense and it just makes the reel longer. So I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to remove that. And I also want cues for the kind of stock clips we can use here. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to recommend those. And now once your script is finalized, it's time to start creating your video. For this, log into InVideo and go to the templates tab. Here you can choose from a library of over 5,000 templates to create your video. And you can use the search bar on the top right to filter out the search results by typing in specific keywords. And you can also use the menu on the left to further filter out your results based on aspect ratio, the type of video and industry. You will also find the latest reels templates here to create trending reels in no time. Now to preview a template, simply hover your cursor over it and don't worry about getting an exact match for your brand colors or fonts as those are details you can edit later in the process. Once you find a template, simply click on it and go to the template page. Here, choose your aspect ratio if you haven't done so already and then click on use template and this will get you to InVideo's super intuitive editor. Here you have the canvas area in the center that shows you the preview of the video. Below it is the timeline where all your scenes are lined up and synced to a music track. If you've used a Reels template like we have, chances are that this will be a trending audio track. And on the left, you have the assets library where you will find everything you need to create your videos, such as stock media, text styles, option to upload your own files and more. Now, the next step is to replace your text and media. We will start with the text since that forms the basis of our video. And for this, all you need to do is select the text box on the canvas on the first scene, and this will open your script box on the left. Here, you can simply type out your own text or copy and paste it from ChatGPT. Now, we will need to do this for the intro slide as well as all the five habits that we are sharing. And if you feel like you're falling short of scenes, simply click on the add scenes option above the timeline to add a scene to your timeline, and then you can edit the text on it in a similar fashion. 
make sure you have a scene for the call to action or CTA as well. Now, once you've replaced the text, you can use the menu on top of the canvas to make adjustments to the text. So you can use the font option to change the font. You can use this color option to change the color of the text. Uh, this wand icon to add effects to your text and this animation option to change or add animation to your text. I like all of those things for now. So I'm going to let them stay as is, but I'm going to slightly resize and reposition the text on the canvas to place it in the center of the screen instead of extremely on the top or at the bottom so that it's visible when the reel is playing. Now, once your text is added, it's time to replace the media. For a video like this, you want to use clips that showcase the habits that you're talking about. Now, ChatGPT has already given us some suggestions and I think they are great. So we will begin by choosing the clip for the first habit. And for that, we want somebody meditating. So we'll go to the video tab in the left menu. And here we'll use the search bar to search for relevant keywords. Now, once you find a clip you like, I like this one, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and hit replace in the pop-up window that appears. This will now open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to match the duration of the scene. Simply click on this option that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your clip will replace the template default. Now you need to go ahead and do this for all the scenes in the video. And once that is done, we move on to our final step of fixing the audio. It's important to know that the sound you use is crucial to your reels success and the trending soundtracks on Instagram change each week. So even if you have a trending audio track on the template, you want to go and check on Instagram whether it's trending right now or not. So to do that, all you need to do is first go to Instagram, open the explore page and then scroll through the reels on there to find an audio track that is currently trending. It will be marked with this upward arrow next to it. Listen to a few different soundtracks to find one that matches the vibe of your video. For this one, we need something that's soothing and mellow. And once you find one, simply click on the small audio thumbnail next to the audio track on the reel. And this will open up the audio page. And here you can use the bookmark option to save it in your library so that you have access to it while you're uploading your reel. Now, to actually use this in your video and to sync your video to this audio, you will first need to download this audio track and upload it to InVideo to sync your video to it. An easy way to do this is to go search for the same audio track on YouTube. Usually TikTok and Instagram edits are uploaded to YouTube. So all you need to do is type in the name that you see here on YouTube search, and that is likely to give you the results. Once you find the video, all you need to do is copy the link of the video and then go to Google and search for a YouTube to MP3 converter. Usually the first result is the one that I use and it's a good one. When you open the website, it has this search box in the middle. Here, all you need to do is paste your YouTube video link and it has the MP3 converter option. Click on it and the website will allow you to download your song as an MP3 version on your computer. Now, once it's downloaded, simply go back to InVideo and then use the Uploads tab in the left menu to upload the audio track. Once it's uploaded, you will need to select the existing soundtrack on the timeline right here and then delete it by either pressing the delete key on the keyboard or by right clicking and deleting it. And once it's deleted, go back to your uploads folder and click on the plus icon next to the uploaded audio track and this will add your soundtrack to your timeline. Now you will need to slightly adjust and trim the audio track to start and stop at a particular point. So just drag around the endpoints of the audio track and keep listening to figure out where you want it to start from and then simply drag and reposition it to the beginning of your video. Once that is done, you will slightly need to adjust the length of the scenes as well to sync up with the audio. To do that, again, you just need to drag the endpoints of the scene to have them start and end where you want them to. Usually looking at the waveforms on the audio file is a good way to determine this. And with that, your video is ready. Now, once you've added all your elements, it's time to preview your video. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like.
And this has actually turned out to be pretty great. Once you are happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. And if at any point during the process you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat option right above the timeline to speak to our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources that we have on using InVideo. Now, once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your Instagram account. And while uploading, you need to ensure that you use the audio icon on the upload screen to choose the trending audio from your saved folder. Simply click on the saved option and here you will be able to see your list of saved songs. Click on the audio track that you have chosen for this reel and Instagram will also automatically mute your video's audio. Now all you need to do is slightly adjust the placement of the audio track so that it syncs up with your scenes. Just drag around the waveform slightly to get it to start at the correct point. And once that is done, you can go ahead with publishing your reel. Now this is important too because using the songs from Instagram's music library help boost your reel more. And that's how you can create faceless Instagram Reels that can get you views and grow your account quickly with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo. Make sure to check out this video next to learn how you can bulk create 30 days worth of Instagram Reels in one single day. And check out this video next if you want to learn how you can instantly turn text to Instagram Reels with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo.